Hi, my name is Brad Gaddy and you're watching Brad Books. Today we're going to be looking at something known as the Monty Hall problem. So imagine you find yourself on a game show. The host presents to you three cups. Two of the cups aren't worth anything, but under one cup is a diamond ring worth a million dollars. You'll now have a chance to try your luck and see if you can't guess the winner. Let's say you pick cup A. The judge now reveals to you that cup C is not the winner. He then asks, are you sure you would like to stay with the original choice of cup A, or would you like to change to cup B? This is where things get interesting. Should you switch cups? Should you stick with your original choice? Does it even matter? When I heard this problem, my initial thought was, well, it doesn't really matter. If I switch or not, I've picked a cup and there are two cups left now, so my odds must be 50-50. And I was wrong. Let me explain. When the host initially asks you to choose a cup, the odds of you choosing a winner is 1 out of 3, or about 33%. This means that the chances you did not pick the winner is 2 thirds, or 66%. Basically, you most likely have chosen a cup that's a loser on your initial guess. So here's what we've got so far. There are three cups. On your initial pick, you probably chose a cup that was wrong. The judge then has to show you another incorrect cup before asking if you want to switch or not. When the host reveals to you that cup C is a loser, he has most likely revealed to you the only loser left in the game. This means that you should always switch cups. This won't always work because you may have picked the right cup from the beginning. A third of the time when you switch cups you will lose, but two thirds of the time when you switch cups you will win. Let's take this a step further to illustrate the point more thoroughly. Let's say you now have to deal with 26 cups instead of 3. The 26 cups are labeled A to Z. Only one cup is a winner, and you have to choose one of them. The odds of you picking the correct cup now is 1 out of 26. In other words, not likely at all. Let's say you pick cup T. Now the judge will cut out every other cup in the game besides yours and one other. Cup R is now left alongside your pick of cup T. One of these cups is the winner. Now the judge will ask you if you would like to switch from cup T to cup R. It is easy to see that the odds have been extremely improved if you decide to switch cups. You had an initial probability of 1 out of 26, but now there are only two cups left in the game and one of them has the winner. If you switch to the other cup now, you are much more likely to win than if you stick with your guess that you made when there were 25 other options. The analogy of 26 cups being narrowed down to 2 illustrates the exact same principle as the original problem that only included 3 cups. The reason it is harder to see the connection with 3 cups is because of initial probability. When faced with only 3 cups, the worst probability you have is a 33% chance, which is relatively not bad. The initial probability of winning out of 26 cups is less than 4%. This makes the jump in probability much more noticeable when cups are being eliminated, but the same rules still apply. So if you are ever faced with a problem of this nature, in order to have a higher chance of success, you will always want to pick a different cup. Thanks for watching Brad Books and remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share. We'll see you next time.